Today, I go over making the edge trim and things like that for molding or countertops or ornate things. Anyway, I show how to make this simple and easy. I show you how to make a couple of mistakes too, and common mistakes that happen and how to fix that. Anyway, stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Inventapark, and today I have a kind of a simple, quick little video. Uh, today I'm going to show how to kind of make an edge trim or a molding for a building or just anything that has kind of a unique profile to it that is kind of hard to make sometimes. And I'll start out with the uh, just the basic cube here. I'll show kind of what most people try to do when they make these. What they try to do is go into edit mode here, make the edge, size it up. It's like you're trying to make for like a building or an edge trim or something like that. You try to make it like that. You can do it that way, but it takes a long time. The easiest way to do that would be to just take like a plane and rotate it so that's facing frontwards go into edit mode and I'm actually going to delete both those vertices so now we're just left with a couple of points here and what we can do with this from here to make whatever profile you want to make. Not the fanciest thing, I'm just making something quick. But But you can be more precise with it. If you have a pattern to kind of follow, it would probably be a good thing. And I'm just going to go out to there. And what I'm going to do is select that one, select the next one, and merge that last. So it'll move that to there. Just like those two, size X, zero. It's one of my keys. Keep forgetting to put these on. So now we have just this basic outline that kind of looks like the uh, Atari ET guy. Anyway, what we can do with that is press F, create a face. And to make this, it's the wrong way. Just kind of extrude it out. So we have a molding there. And we have that so we can extrude it and then rotate it. Actually, I'm going to rotate it 45, negative. Size it up so that it lines up. Do that. 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 And I totally messed that up. What I did wrong, here, I'll show you. I forgot to, because I was sizing it, and I forgot to size it on the, uh, just the X and Y and not the Z axis. So let me show how to correct that. I 
Let's do that again. Z. Size, and then you press Shift and Z. Extrude out. Rotate 45, negative. Whoop. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Okay. Well, now really everything's inverted. <laughs> Flip direction. There we go. That's basically how you can kind of make a edge trim. Do the same with the inside corners too. Hard part is just sizing it up correctly. What you can do is make it easier. Just kind of line it up like that. Rotate so that's. I didn't mess up the scaling already, did I? Okay, now I did. And size shift Z. Make it all flat again. Then you can take this and rotate it 90. Then you just have to line everything up. That's an easier way to do that. And so basically that's how you would just create a molding alongside a building or counter edge or some trim molding for a room or something like that. And it's just a quick and easy way to do that instead of trying to mold the mod object then extrude size extrude size and manipulate each one one at a time anyway that's it for today thanks for watching